hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how i made this easy cute sign out of cedar strips that you can purchase at your local hardware store i actually love how this turned out i've been seeing this palette looking style signs and i decided to try it and i'm in love so before we jump into the tutorial i would like to ask if we can hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already and also the notification bell so be notified every time i upload a video i upload new videos every monday wednesdays and fridays and occasional videos for collabs and challenges so with that being said i started off with one length i think this was a 10 feet length of the cedar strips and i just measured 12 inches straight down the strip and i did actually use one full length of a 10 you can also use a 12 i have a lot of these on hand i try to keep a lot of these on hand because i use this for a lot of my diys i use my mitre box and saw to cut the pieces down you can use a hacksaw that you can purchase at the dollar store or you can even use more of a heavy duty tool but the mitre box works pretty well i did i think i did nine pieces of this as well so that i would have two extra pieces for the bottom i did this project before on a smaller scale but i lost the footage so i'm redoing it on a larger scale so once i had it all cut down i went onto my craft table and i used some sandpaper and i just sanded the edge to give it more of a smooth finish and i did this for all nine pieces give this video a big thumbs up share with your friends and family and also leave a comment below just saying hi once everything was sand I wiped it down with a paper towel and then I'm using my shoe polish as wood stain because it's easier to use and it's odorless as well you can also use watered down brown acrylic paint if you don't have any wood stain it's very expensive here in my country so this is the cheapest way for me to use a something a faux stain i stained seven of the pieces front back and sides and only two on the front only Those two that I reserved that I only stay in the front, those would be the back pieces to hold the slats together. I just place them to the side so that they can fully dry and they do dry within a few minutes. Once they are dried, I lay them out, leaving a little space in between. I think this was a half of an inch space in between each. You can leave it, you can leave a smaller space or you can even make a larger space. But I do advise that if you're doing this, make sure that you line up your front pieces first and then cut, measure and cut the back pieces to hold the slats in place. I'm just taking my metal ruler and trying to get the edges as straight as possible so that my sign wouldn't be lopsided. I'm using my Dunlop wood glue. You can use whatever wood glue you have on hand or works for you. And I'm just placing little strips on the edges, like about half of an inch in from the edge all the way up. And then I'm placing the two pieces of strip onto the wood glue. I also place some heavy objects on top of them so that they remain flat and dry that way. Once it has completely dried, I'm taking some of my white acrylic paint and I'm going to dry brush onto this piece. I wanted to give it a more of a weathered look like it's been hanging out 
outside and with all the elements and everything you can also paint this any color rather than staining it i do plan on doing a lot more of these i will be making a lot more of these off camera and having them for sale for anyone who would like and i'll be doing different types of signs and lettering on these with closer spaces and further spaces to make it more of that palette wood look you can go as heavy or as light on the dry brush and I'm just gonna take some of my sandpaper and go on the edges and sand off a little bit of that paint that I just did I clean it off with some paper towel and I'm giving you different options I have these wooden woods that I purchased last year and you can add those to the sand you can also add mini wreath with some twine or some greenery I'm just taking this metal piece that I had on hand a circle round and I'm also going to be placing one of those words and I braided six strands of my twine and I am just wrapping the metal round with it because it was kind of rusted and I really didn't like that look I wanted a more clean and finished look so I'm just wrapping the entire ring with the braided rope and you can also use thicker rope for this it definitely will be super cute or you can make like those mini wreath for and change it out for each season once I had the entire ring covered in the rope the braided rope I'm just taking some of my greenery pieces that I had and I'm just cutting it down to size because this is a really small wreath and I'm just cutting it down to size to fit just to the bottom and add in some more greenery I took some of my floral wire and I'm just wrapping that in place and then I'm gonna take some hot glue and glue that onto the, the wreath you can place it to the top you can also place it to the bottom it's optional also I'm gonna be adding some flowers here you see me show you three different large flowers I did eventually start it off with the sunflower but it was a little droopy and I didn't like how it looked so I went for some smaller flowers and I just added three of those smaller flowers and I just hot glued that to the bottom I also hot glued the love sign to the top you can put whatever saying if you choose to put a saying or you could just leave it as with just the wreath you can also use this as a tree as well it has multi it's very multi-purpose you see me use a piece of twine here to hold the wreath in place i eventually took that out because i didn't like how it looked either and i just placed a little bit of hot glue onto the rope and placed it a little closer to the sign so that it fits onto the onto the sign onto the palette sign i also added some twine to the back and place a piece of burlap to hold it in place to give it a more of a finished look so you can hang this piece as well so you have options of hanging it or just placing it as a backdrop I absolutely loved how this turned out I'm so so happy I decided to recreate this over again because as I said I did make a smaller version of this and lost the footage and I was so bummed about it and I thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely see you all in the next one be safe and I love you guys bye